Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sorazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about the motor effect and Fleming's left hand rule. So get ready guys, we're going to be talking about the motor effect and the left hand rule. So starting off with the following, we need a quick recap on some of the concepts we've covered previously, especially on current and magnetism. You should remember that when current passes through a wire, so here I have a wire going upwards, the current's going upwards, when current passes through it, a magnetic field is created. So when current passes through a wire, a magnetic field is created. Purple equals magnetic field, guys. And if we reverse the direction of the current, what happens is the field will reverse direction. Okay, so we had a quick recap. When current passes through a wire, it generates its own magnetic field. All right, so now let's do something quite cool. Let's take this wire and let's place it within a magnetic field. I'll show you using the following diagram. Okay, so here we're going to have two magnets, yeah? So they're resting on a table. Imagine these two things resting on a table. One of them we will say is north. So one of them will be north. The other one will be south. Okay, so these are permanent magnets, guys. They can't be turned off and on. So these ones are permanent magnets right now. There we have a north there and a south there. Right, so first things first. We know that the field lines always go out of the north and into the south. So the field lines go across over here out of the north and into the south. Happy with this? So two bar magnets resting on a table, north and south, field lines are going across. Okay, so what's going to happen if we were to take a wire and run it through the field? Yeah, so we take a wire and place it within the field as follows. So let's take a wire, so here we go, the wire's going through the field right now. There we go. Voila. Okay, let's add a little switch here. Okay, right, so Right, so before we move on, make sure you understand the circuit. We have a north pole and a south pole resting on a table. We're running a wire in between it right now. This is a 3D diagram, guys, so this is a 3D diagram. So what's going to happen, everyone, when we press the switch? What is going to happen when we press the switch, everyone? So what do you think is going to happen? Right, as previously stated, when the switch is connected, number one, a current will flow. So a current will flow around the wire. So here we go. The current will flow around the wire. The current's going around the wire here. As the current flows through the wire, what happens is it will generate its own magnetic field. So yes, now we have a wire generating its own magnetic field. Right, so purple is equal to the magnetic field from the wire. So what do we notice what's going on here? Right, so we have already a magnetic field from the permanent magnets. So here were our permanent magnets at the start. Okay, and we also have a magnetic field from the wire. So there's going to be something interesting happening here. There's going to be an interaction between the magnetic fields. So the magnetic field from the wire will interact with the magnetic field from the permanent magnets. So there's going to be an interaction between the magnetic field from the wire, which was created when the current passes through it, and the magnetic field from the permanent magnets. Right, guys, so that's really interesting. So both of those in fields will interact. So both of those fields will interact with each other. So we should hopefully know that when you have two magnetic fields interacting, it's going to cause a force to be experienced. So what's going to happen is this wire will experience a force. So therefore, the wire will experience a force, guys. Right, and this wire will actually move. So it will experience a force and move off the actual page. So the wire will actually experience a force upwards. So only that part of the wire within the magnetic field will move upwards here. Okay? Yeah, it's a hard concept, but make sure we understand it from the top. So let me go through it one more time. Right, so we have a north pole and a south pole, and these are permanent magnets. We then run a wire between them, and obviously we're going to pass a current through that wire. The magnetic field from the current will interact with the magnetic field from the permanent magnet, causing a force to be experienced by the wire, and that force will move upwards. Okay, right, so how do I know the force is moving upwards? Well, we can use Fleming's left-hand rule, guys. So Fleming's left-hand rule. Okay, so how can we identify the direction of the force on the wire? How can we do this? How did I know that that wire is going to move upwards? Well, I can use Fleming's left-hand rule. Okay, so everyone, get your left hand out, guys. Get your left hand out. Okay, so let me draw it first. First of all, do this, everyone. Yeah, left hand, make this nice perpendicular uh, shape right now. Everyone, with your, with your hand. And from here, all you're going to do is extend the, this thing over here. There we go. Keep these two perpendicular. 
and these two perpendicular. So once again, very slowly, it looks like this in your hand, everyone. So it looks like that. Easy stuff here. Right, okay. So let me draw a diagram to make it easier for you to understand. Okay, so here is my left hand. Yeah, it's not the best diagram, but it is what it is. Right, so the direction that it's going to go in is always out from the center. Right, so I've drawn some arrows on my fingers to help you understand here. So look, there we go. So here is our wonderful left hand rule. Right, so each finger tells you the direction of a quantity. So the fingers show you the directions. The fingers show you the direction. We're going to talk about it in terms of F, B, I. F, B, I, because you are investigating magnetism. Nice little pun there. Right, so what do they all stand for? So your thumb shows you the direction of the force, okay? Uh, your index finger shows you the direction of the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is going this way. And I is going to be the current. So next one is going to be the current direction, okay? So F, B, I. Write it on your hands if it feels you if it helps. So F, B, and I. F, B, I. They must remain perpendicular to each other, guys. You can't, you know, you can't just squash your hands or just twist them out. Make sure you understand they have to remain perpendicular to each other. So I'm going to use this to tell me the direction in which the wire will move in. So we're going to use the left-hand rule to show us which way the wire will move. All right, so back to our original diagram. First of all, guys, I'm going to draw the same diagram now, but from a bird's eye view. So this was in 3D. Let's draw it in a bird's eye view. Right, so if it's a bird's eye view, guys, it looks like the following. It looks like a north, a south, and we have the wire going through here with the currents. Okay, make sure you can see that. Yes, north, south, the current was going this way. Okay, right. So how am I going to use the left-hand rule to solve this problem? Well, you can do it yourself. Right, so you take your hand and first of all, you point the field in the correct direction. So as you can see on your screen, the field is going out of the north and into the south. So my field, I'm going to do it for so you guys can understand, the field is going this direction. So look, my finger now matches up with the field direction which you can see. Right, and now I'm going to rotate my hand so that my current from this finger matches up with the current in the diagram. So you can see in the diagram, the field's going from left to right. The current's going down, so my, this finger should be pointing down. So look, I place it over here and I rotate it to there. That should work now, yes? So field's going from left to right, current's going down. We can see that. Which way is this wire going to jump? Well, where's the thumb pointing? It's pointing out of the screen right now. So yes, in this diagram over here, the wire will jump out of the screen. So this one will jump, so the force is out of the screen. A lot of kids get confused when doing the left hand rule, so we'll do a couple more examples. So we're going to do a couple more examples and you're just going to try and work out yourself. Okay, so now guys, test your understanding. Take out your left hand and you're going to solve these problems here. So I've got four different problems on the board. Can you tell me which way will the force be experienced? Obviously it's a three-dimensional problem. Alright, so first of all try it yourself. Maybe pause the video if that helps. Okay, right, so first of all, if I was you, I'd always draw the field lines. The field lines are going from north to south here, north to south there, and north to south in this direction. So they swap. Careful, guys. They swap in this direction over here. Oops, forgot the north over there. Okay, right. So obviously that's the current flowing through the wire. Let's do the first one. Field going across, current going, field's going across, current's going down. This one is going to jump out of the board. So this one is out of the board. The one underneath it, so now look, feels still going from left to right, but the current's going vertically upwards, so look, rotate my hand. Where's my thumb? It's going into the board, so into the board. Okay, so this one's going to be moving into the board. Right, what about the other one? So now we can clearly see that the field's going from right to left, so look, north to south, so there. Current's going down, it's going to go into the board as well. So this one's going into the board. And the one underneath, so we know that the field is still going from north to south in this direction, matching up with the diagram in the video. The current's going vertically upwards, so therefore rotate my finger upwards for the because this is the current. Therefore, it's moving out of the board. Okay, so we've done four examples of using the left-hand rule. I might do another video to explain it because it's quite difficult. One of the most difficult concepts to explain uh, on video here. So right from the top, we're going to have a quick recap. So what exactly is the motor effect? The motor effect is the following. Let's take two permanent magnets, place them on a table. Let's run a wire in between them both. Let's pass current through the wire. Well, when you pass current through the wire, it will generate its own magnetic field. 
that magnetic field will interact with the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. And therefore, the two fields will interact, causing the wire to experience a force. So the wire will experience a force over here. Scrolling down, we then said, how did I know the direction of the force on the wire? So in this picture, I know the force is upwards. I can work it out using Fleming's left-hand rule. Fleming's left-hand rule tells me the direction of the force on the wire. So your thumb stands for the force, F. Your index finger stands for the magnetic field direction, B. And your this, seg, this finger over here is going to tell you the current direction. So F, B, I. Right, so then I did some examples. Let's say, for example, in this one over here, we went back to this diagram and said, let's draw the bird's eye view of it. Then I said to you, bird's eye view, we know the current's going down, the field's going across. Then we took our hand and we orientated the field first. The current was down. We learned that the force is out of the page. And look, guys, it matches up with the other diagram right now. Look, the force is out of the page. It moves upwards. Think about that in 3D. That's in 2D. In 3D, it moves out of the page here. And scrolling down, we did a couple more examples, which we looked at the field from north to south or south to north. We switched it around a bit and we noticed that if you swap the magnetic field, the motion changes. Or if you swap the direction of the current, the motion changes. OK, and that's it for another session of Survival Dazzle Physics. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos. Comment below if you found it interesting or you have any queries. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.